Okay, so you start by peeling the onion. You get all the uh, the outer layers of the onion off. You want to get it down to the, the shiny bit here. Just get all the, uh, the harder, stale stuff that you don't want to eat. Get it down to the nice piece of the onion. Now we're going to use the slicer to slice the onions, that will help keep a, a much more uniform cut. So we're going to start by cutting the tops and the bottoms off the onion. We're going to try to make that as flat as possible, because when we put it in the slicer, this is going to sit up in the slicer and it will cut it for us. So cut that off, and then we cut the top off as well. You don't have to cut a lot off, we want to keep waste to a minimum but this is pretty much waste. We don't want to serve anything that looks like that, so that goes in the garbage. All right, now let's bring it over to the slicer. And we want to have the slicer settings to about the third line right here. This adjusts like this, and this is how you adjust the thickness on the blades. Be careful with these, these things are sharp and they will hurt. Assemble the slicer. All right. Now you want to take your onion and you want to set it down in here. Make sure you do it the other way here. And you want to set the flat side so that you're pushing the flat side with this, and the other flat side is up against the blades. Now you want to keep a uniform pressure on this here. You don't want to push too hard because you might break the machine and it doesn't really do anything. So uh, to get started, I'm going to turn. I'm going to go backwards about a half a turn just to get the uh, the onion in the right spot. If you look over here, you can see the onion through the blade here. So I'm going to go backwards just a bit to get the blade on top of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start slicing. So, it's that simple. I can do a whole onion like that. Now, again, we want to make sure that the pieces that don't look so good don't make it into people's food. So, that's waste as well. Now, we are going to immediately move from slicing into dicing. Now, we don't want to dice this whole bucket of onions that you've just sliced. We don't need that many diced. But we don't want to use all of these on sandwiches and stuff like that. So we want to keep the bigger rings, the ones that look good, like that. Those look great. Those will look awesome on a sandwich. Those are the ones that we want to keep. So you're just going to pull out the centers and then you're going to pull out any of the ones that got chopped like this. So the ones that aren't intact circles we want to pull out for dicing. So that's getting diced. That can go on a sandwich. And these are strong onions so this can be a tough job to do sometimes. Again, we want to keep waste to a minimum. We're going to use as much of this as we can, but anything that doesn't look appetizing, get rid of it. So we want to pull out any soggy pieces like that, and we want to throw out the inside, the, the white pieces that we don't really need. So that piece doesn't look that great either. So these
these pieces here, these are all the pieces that we'll use on sandwiches. So out of one onion, that's about what you should have out of every onion for uh, for going on the hoagies. Put that back in there, save it for later, and we're going to move on the dicing. Go ahead and cut. So whenever we're dicing the onions, we want nice small pieces. We want them to be real fine so that they uh, are easier to eat. And then as we're doing it, we want to pull out the center pieces, like the very core of the onions, the ones that are uh, you know discolored from the rest of the onion. Those are going to be um, waste. <coughs> and then, uh, then you just slice them. And you want to take your time doing this. I'm not the best at doing this, and I'll freely admit that. Uh, but that's about what we're looking for. We want pieces to be, you know, finely chopped up so that everything is a nice uniform consistency. Um, and you're going to do that until you fill one of these up. And then you fill one of these up. And that'll be the job. It should take you about. 30 minutes or so to do a, to do both of these. Especially with the slicer, it makes easy work out of it, so. Good luck. 